So we have two functions, f and g. They're both rational functions, so we got a chance to divide by zero on each of them. But what we're gonna do is compose them here. Think of it as a little information about what the answer is gonna look like, uh, but that's all right. We're just gonna go ahead and just start composing them. So we gotta go f of g of x. Always going inside function first. So g is one over x minus one. Now I'm gonna rewrite f, but instead of feeding it an x, I'm gonna feed it a box here, and that's gonna give us one over the box minus seven. So what's in the box is this right here. So that's gonna be put inside that box right there. So it's one over, one over, x minus one minus seven. Of course, we don't write with boxes, we use parentheses. Now, if I was going to just write the, not the domain, but if it just said write f of g of x, I would add these two together with common denominator, which would be x minus one. But we're actually asked about the domain. So let's look at how this can be zero. Uh, there are several ways it can, or not how it can be zero, how it could be divided by zero. So there's two ways that could happen. The first way that I see is right there. X minus one could be zero. So let's write that down. We're looking for bad X's. So we got zero equals X minus one. All right, that's one possibility. There's another possibility, which is this bigger denominator, that whole thing could be zero. So I'm just gonna write that one over x minus one minus seven. So there, we're expecting two bad x values here. One of them is really easy to see, add on the left, add one to both sides, one equals x, that's bad x value. You probably saw that in almost instantly. The other one, a little bit more tricky. So now we gotta solve for x. We have an equation so I can multiply by the denominator would be a one good move. Let's go ahead and add seven first. Now we'll multiply by x minus one. And it multiplies here and here. So we got seven x minus one equals x minus one divided by x minus one cancels. And we just have equals one. Distribute your seven, add your seven, and divide by seven. Eight sevenths, this question did mention uh, some decimal places, so you could answer in a decimal here. So these are some bad x values. So I got one, eight sevenths is seven sevenths plus one, plus one seventh. So if that's one, it's a little bit bigger, that'll be eight sevenths. So those are all the bad x values. Now we'll talk about the good ones. There's a bunch right there. There's a bunch right there. Another big bunch over there. So I got minus infinity to one. You cannot include one because we just said one's a bad x value. We're gonna start up right after one and go to eight sevenths. And then start again at eight sevenths and go to infinity. Now this problem did ask about decimals somewhere. Uh, let's see, you run answers to decimal places. So on this particular question, just turn those into decimals. Uh, you should be okay.